Technically, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Welcome everyone, my name's Ali A. Today we're going to be diving into why Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is looking set to be the COD 2018 release set for this year. We're going to be discussing when it's going to be based, whether or not it's going to be boots on the ground, whether we're going to be flying through the air, and also whether or not a battle royale mode in Call of Duty would make any sense at all, and whether or not you guys want to see it. Now for the millions of you guys that have subscribed over the last few months for my Fortnite videos, if you don't know COD or haven't played COD, make a See, relax, this game is absolutely awesome and I'm sure you'll enjoy the gameplay of me playing some Black Ops 3, which is obviously the last Black Ops game which came out. And if you are a Call of Duty subscriber, thank you for hanging around. I know I've been doing loads of Fortnite recently, but I'm still playing Call of Duty on the side, and I'm still very much excited for this year's Call of Duty release, specifically with it being Treyarch and potentially, as I said, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, because I adore and find the Black Ops series to be my favourite Call of Duty series of them all. So over the last few days, rumours have been rampant for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. We've had official statements from Activision and Treyarch, themselves which has been very interesting and for all of you keen-eyed viewers that watched my very first Black Ops 4 video about six months ago now it was before even COD World War 2 had come out you'll know that a lot of the information I talked about back then seems deadly accurate and lines up with all of the leaks and rumors that we've gotten right now so without further ado let's jump into it and what are people talking about why is everyone talking about Black Ops 4 so firstly jumping back to that Black Ops 4 video that I made last year information first came about when Treyarch put out a job list looking for someone to join a team that had great knowledge of modern day weaponry instantly pointing at a modern day shooter for Call of Duty's next title. Treyarch have not done a modern day shooter ever. It would be a new time period for them to jump into and get to grips with, which is very, very exciting. It also could lead to the fact that if it's modern day, it has to be boots on the ground. We're going to come back to that in a second. In the last few days, war rumors have come out. From the Twitter user Marcus Sellers, who's had a history of accurately leaking game releases in the past, he tweeted out saying that COD 2014 will be Black Ops 4, it'll be coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and also Nintendo Switch, which I'm really excited about. It's going to be set in the modern day, will be boots on the ground, and the Switch will also support DLC and more. Marcus has accurately leaked games in the past, so though it's not official, this guy seems to be saying something which everyone else is saying as well. Black Ops 4 is coming this year. Since that tweet, Activision has actually gone ahead and officially confirmed that Treyarch could be making COD this year. So not a surprise at all. Treyarch has gone ahead and said they're really excited to reveal more and gets me so excited as well. But on top of that, Activision have had their fiscal report, which is basically just loads of reports about where have they been making the most amount of money, which games have been the most active. It's been really interesting because a lot of it has been hinting at how strong and how well Black Ops as a series does for Call of Duty. Activision says as follows, that overall their strategy for Call of Duty is working and World War II has been a great success. And they've seen great success with all of the events that they've done in-game, including the Resistance events and other events that you guys may have taken part on if you're still playing Call of Duty World War II. They also specifically say they've got a thriving Black Ops community and even say that the Black Ops community is the most active and the most long-lasting community out of all of the Call of Duty titles. And so they cannot wait and are excited 